Now that we've gotten really good at adding and subtracting fractions, we're going to start learning how to multiply fractions. When we first learned about multiplication, just normal multiplication, we learned that it was basically just repeated addition. So if we had 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, we could write that as a multiplication equation which is a little bit simpler and faster. So we can write that as 4 times 3 because we had 4 3's. We do the same thing for fractions. If we have a big list of fractions we're adding, 1 3rd plus 1 3rd plus 1 3rd plus 1 3rd, we can write that a little simpler as a multiplication equation. So we have 4 of these 1 3rds. So we can write that as 4 times 1 3rd. Here's a second example. If I have 1 12th plus 1 12th plus 1 12th plus 1 12th, we can write this as 4 times 1 12th. On your assignment today, they're not going to have the 1 12th broken up like this, 1 12th plus 1 12th plus 1 12th plus 1 12th. They're going to just combine all those into 4 twelfths, and they still want you to make a multiplication equation. So 4 twelfths is still going to equal our 4 times 1 twelfth. So what we have in green is equivalent to what we have at the bottom. Um, it's just that the 4 twelfths, instead of being broken apart, is put all together. So let me show you another example. So we're going to just start off with the 6 eighths. If you want to, you can break that up into 1 eighth plus 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 1 eighth. Or it's much simpler if we just write that as 6 eighths. And then we're going to make a multiplication equation that equals 6 eighths. So I have 6 of these 1 eighths. So we can write 6 eighths as 6 times one eighth. Here's another example. I want you to try this one now that you've seen a couple. So how can we write three sixths as a multiplication equation? So if we wanted to, we could write three sixths as one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth, which gives us three one sixth, or we can write it as three times one sixth. Today we're also going to need to go the opposite direction. So we have a multiplication equation. And today we're going to start to learn how to solve multiplication with fractions. Um, but we're still focusing on creating equations today. Tomorrow we'll do it a little more of the standard way. So if I have 4 times 2 thirds, and I want to make a multiplication equation, I can do 4 wholes times our 2 thirds. So 4 times 2 is 8. And to make this a multiplication equation, we have 8 times 1 third. Here's another example. So if I have 5 times 3 fifths, once again, we don't change our denominators. So we're just going to multiply our 5 times our 3 equals 15. To make this an equation, we're going to do 15 times 1 fifth. And as I said, today we're focusing on equations. Tomorrow we'll be learning this slightly differently. So here's one more example like this. 6 times 2 thirds. And we want to write a multiplication equation that shows this. So we can do 6 times 2 is 12, and we can do 12 times 1 third. So we would much rather write 12 times 1 third than have to write 1 third plus 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 1 third. I think that was 12. It gets tricky when you're doing this many. So that's why we'd much rather write 12 times 1 third 
then have to write out all of those one-thirds and add them like we've been doing in the past. Okay, I want you to try this one. So how could we write 3 times 5 sevenths? Remember, we don't change our denominator. So we're just going to multiply that top part times our 3. So what is 3 times 5? It's 15. And what kind of fraction are we using? We're using sevenths. So we have 15 times 1 seventh. Okay, so now we're to our four problems. The first three are going to be like the first half of the video. So now that we're, we've gotten kind of doing it backwards, if you need to go and watch the beginning again, you can just go back. Um, but we want to know what 5 eighths equals as a multiplication equation. For number two, write 5 sevenths as a multiplication equation. For number 3, 9 tenths, write out an equation for that. And our fourth one is like the second half of the video. So now that you've gotten back to remembering the first half, if you need to go back again and watch the second half to remind yourself, you can. So we have 6 times 3 fifths, and we want to um, figure out an equation for how many fifths that will equal. Tomorrow we'll be doing this more the standard way, but hopefully today this has given you a better understanding visually of how this works. So bring these four problems in tomorrow, and thank you, and have a wonderful day.